So this video is a, a technical video and it's an introduction to the flower sack rig which is a really nice little rig. Uh, again it's free and it's available at a website called www.creativecrash.com. So first of all let's go and find it um, and I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type flower sack rig Maya uh, and I'm actually going to insert the word character here because um, there are actually two flower sack rigs available at Creative Crash and we want the uh, the one that's called flower sack character and that should be uh, here flower sack character I'm just going to click on that uh, and that should pull up the character rig yes it's the one with a little uh, rock and rooster uh, texture on there so um, uh, if you haven't already uh, logged in to uh, creativecrash.com, go ahead. Uh, like Turbo Squid, it's a wonderful source of free character rigs, and we're going to be using the uh, flower sack here for our animation. So uh, register if you haven't done so, sign in, uh, go ahead and download the rig. Copy it to your rigs folder on your or in your uh, desktop, and then um, we will go ahead and uh, set a project. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and import the uh, rig into my set. So I'm going to go to um, uh, de my documents folder, um, actually, sorry, my desktop folder, and I'm going to find my, uh, my rig, which will be under assets, rigs, right here. And there it is, the flower sack. Um, and I'm going to take the most recent version uh, and... Uh, I'm also going to need to copy those images in the source images folder over to my um, my scene. So now I've imported the rig and if I zoom out a bit there and now if I hit 6 on my keyboard you'll see we've got no textures. So I'm going to need to copy those textures over into my folder. But first of all I'm going to set a project. So I'm going to go to File, uh, Project Window, New and I'm going to call this flower sack jump underscore v01 because we're going to do a jump with the flower sack um, uh, flower sack suicide uh, and um, I'm going to click accept here and now set to this new project file set project uh, and it should be in here somewhere there we go flower sack Actually, I didn't need ver ver version one what am I doing um, well, I have to change. I'll change that in a minute. Um, but um, flower sack jump is what we want to call it. Uh, set to that, uh, and now I need to find the um, source images. So I'm going to go to my documents folder, uh, and let's go ahead and look in Maya projects. Uh, actually, uh, before I do that, I go to desktop uh, to my own uh, folder. That's Alex and in my teaching folder under assets and rigs you don't have to reproduce this filing system you can use anyone as anyone you like as long as you know where it is flower sack and now I'm going to go into the source images folder and I'm going to shift select all of these uh, textures right click copy uh, then I'm going to go to my uh, uh, let's see my documents folder uh, go to Maya projects uh, go into the um, flower sack jump there it is I'll just rename it while I'm here flower sack jump uh, go into that folder and in go into source images and now control V to paste those images in there so now we've got the uh, the images in the actual images uh, uh, folder uh, in the source images folder so now we're going to have to uh, hook uh, this this um, uh, uh, flower sack up to his images so I'm going to go to window rendering editors hypershade that's going to open up the hypershade and you can see here that uh, we're missing our um, uh, uh, the, 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 these um, these materials are not hooked up to the uh, textures that they're supposed to be attached to. So I'm going to go and double click on that um, and that will pull up 
a um, uh, a Lambert and here in the color uh, window here I'm going to click here on that little arrow and that should take me if I scroll down to uh, the, the 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 JPEG uh, that that material is looking for and it's looking for burlap underscore o2 so I'm just going to click on that little folder there um, and go to flower sack jump and go to source images uh, and we may as well let's see if I go to burlap o2 actually we can we can choose well let's 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 go for burlap o2 because that's what it says it wants uh, now let's click on the other one we should actually be able to see that now in the window there we go so that's actually the back uh, of the flower sack um, and now let's double click on this one um, and this is a Lambert as well uh, and now if I click here on this uh, little arrow that's now looking for burlap 04 that's the rockin rooster so if I uh, click on the folder that's now going to hook it up to rockin rooster coffee you can also um, hook it up to the uh, lizard pattern there if you want but for now I'm going to stick to rockin rooster uh, click on that uh, and now uh, we should have the um, all the elements properly connected to the flower sack okay so I'm going to close out the hypershade uh, and I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, and we don't want to save under source images uh, I'm just going to cancel that we may not have properly set to the project so I'm going to set the project again file set project flower sack jump set now if I save again file save scene as okay it takes me to the scenes folder which is where we wanted to be so I'm going to call this flower sack jump underscore v001 and save it okay so now we have a flower sack uh, and we have some textures and now let me show you what the rig does this is slightly um, um, uh, I was going to say complex it's not so much a complex rig but there are a few things that are slightly quirky about it so we need to understand what they do so if I go to W if I select the world mover this is the main uh, world mover and as with all rigs you don't really want to animate on it um, although um, uh, you know uh, you can you certainly want to use the world mover to put the rig into um, into position uh, now let's go through the other controls and actually while we're doing it let's create some some uh, shelf tabs so I'm going to go to uh, new shelf and I'm going to call this flower sack and then click OK uh, and so I'm now going to grab the main controls that I'm going to want to use and first of all is the uh, uh, the main uh, body control um, and let's just go into the channel box so if we uh, select that you'll see that it comes up main control there it is so I'm now going to go into the script editor um, select that mel script there middle mouse drag that into the shelf save it as a mill go to the pointy down arrow uh, go to shelf editor and call this uh, I'm going to call this the root control or actually it calls itself main so let's call it main save all shelf so now we should have a, 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 a button for the main control there uh, now let's go to this one here and that is the uh, chest control and what it really does is squashes and stretches the body so select that comes up in the script editor there uh, select that with your left mouse middle mouse drag into the shelf editor save it as a mill pointy down arrow shelf editor click on the latest uh, bit of scripting and name it chest save all shelves so now we've got one for main one for chest uh, now the next things we're going to need are the um, uh, these controls down here these are the IK controls for the feet so these move the feet around so this one here is the uh, right flower sack IK handle 
So I'm going to select that, middle mouse drag, uh, save it as a mel, pointy down arrow, and I'm going to call that right foot. Just make sure that works. Yep. And let's also grab that one and call it left foot. Middle mouse drag, release, save it as a mel, pointy down arrow, shelf editor, click on the latest bit of script, left foot, and save all shelves. Uh, now what else? Um, now these controls up here uh, are sort of, um, what do they call themselves? Shoulders. Um, so we could save those, but I think for now we probably won't. Uh, we'll probably grab those manually later on. Um, these are the the his his sort of ears, as it were, or little hands, and you can actually um, drag select them all together. Actually, no, we don't want to do that. And you can. Mm, that's not working. Why is that not working? There we go. You can sort of bend the tips like that. And then bend the edges. So you can you can get nice poses on these guys here. And you can also animate that at the end. So, uh, but those are the main controls that we've got there. Um, the main control, the chest control, the right foot and the left foot, those are the ones we're going to be using the most often. Um, and then down here, you can animate uh, these little guys here. Uh, um, actually, let's, we will probably have to use those a fair bit. So let's, uh, let's call it that the right toe. So I'm going to go save that as a mill, point it down arrow, shelf editor, right toe. And save that as a mill, pointy down arrow, left toe. That's probably enough to be getting on with. You don't need to save tabs for all the controls, just the ones you're going to be using the most often. Um, and then uh, the, probably the next thing we want to do is to slightly relax him um, because he, he tends to start in a, in a slightly like all rigs, he comes in rather stiff. So I'm just going to relax him a little bit, uh, just so he feels a little bit more, I was going to say human, but that seems a bit silly for a flower sack. Uh, but just just relax the pose. Um, and I'm also going to push these feet up here so that it feels like he's actually uh, sitting on the ground. Um, almost kind of resting on the surface there. And let's see, uh, we might actually just pull these guys forward a little bit. Uh, maybe bend these a little bit, the tips, so it feels slightly less stiff. This is the first thing I always do when I open up a rig, is just, just relax it slightly so that it doesn't feel quite so annoyingly stiff. Okay. Right, okay, I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, so what happens if we move that one? No, we don't want to do that. Okay, right. So I, now that we've relaxed our flower sack, uh, I think we can go ahead and uh, save this. So file, save scene as flower sack jump one. I'm going to call that two. You can save as many versions of your shot in Maya as you like. It really doesn't matter takes up very little space on your hard drive. And now we are ready to start animating. So that's the end of the technical lecture. Um, go ahead now and check out the uh, tutorial on how to animate the flower sack jump.